Hello, Mary Claire. This is Anatomy of a Wardrobe. I'm Cora Delaney. Come on in. First things first. My signature Mew Mew shades. One second. Cora, Delaney, thank you so much for agreeing to be part of this Anatomy of a Wardrobe and thank you for having us in your home. So you are the founder of EYC Limited, which is an agency you do everything from talent management, creative strategy and events. We have a styling team, creative team, kind of the whole package. You've worked with a whole host of brands, you know, brands like Prada, Louis Vuitton. What do they get from EYC perhaps that they don't get from other agencies? Well, I feel like things have changed now. There's so many social media talent agencies now. When I began, there wasn't. We were kind of the first. When they come to us, they get everything. We can do the moon event, we can do the production, we can do the creative, we can do the guest list, we can do the reporting, we can do the talent, we can do the music, we can do absolutely everything. So it's like a one-stop shop, and that's why so many people come to us. What is the coolest party you've ever thrown? I did a party for Rihanna a couple of months ago and she turned up. Pretty cool. You started off as a stylist, right? You yep. were assisting Anna Trevelyan many yep. moons ago. Yeah, and then I was working with Lily Allen, doing styling with her, and then I was doing parties around London, and then I met Gully Guy Leo, who was kind of like the first kind of influencer of the sort at the time. I just started managing him, I'd never done it before, but we just went on this adventure together and then everything just has really organically grown into like, we have about a team of like, 18, 19 people now. So this year, London Fashion Week is celebrating its 40th anniversary. What do you feel differentiates it to other cities and what do you love designer-wise? I feel like it's a great incubator for young talent. I love Fashion East and, you know, lots of the designers now are people that I've also grown up with, like kind of all of us hustling getting into shows and, and styling shows and stuff like that. And I really love British talent. Like obviously on my on my rack I've got a lot. Molly Goddard, City in Arlington, Palace, and then Peachy Den. And I think, you know, Peachy Den is important to me because it's a, a British woman designer and Gen Z love it. It's literally a uniform for Gen Z and I just think that they're doing so well. We kind of know each other because our grandmothers were best friends. They used to tell us all these stories that back in the, I don't know, like post-war London or something, they'd have like pianos on the street and they'd just be like dancing on the tables and I feel like it's only natural that you'd be organising all these amazing parties now. Talking about the war, this is a Kelly from 1945. This was actually at the spa and I got it quarried back for today because oh. I really wanted to show you this bag because it's so old and the reason I wanted to buy it is just because I thought it must have so many stories and it's, it's seen so much and I loved it. And they're so hard to get hold of. Yeah. It's amazing to have a piece like that. She's very pretty. Well, other handbags that we have here. This fab Louis Vuitton, you said is your beach bag, this right? This is my beach bag. <laughs> it's very important. This comes on holiday and only comes on holiday. This doesn't come out in London. I decided it's a beach bag because it's plastic. It's vintage, right? It's vintage. You know, I've completely this. ruined the leather, but it's a beach bag, so. I normally would wear like some tortoise shell glasses or something to match. A newer bag, JW Anderson. Mm -hmm. Such a great shape. This was a gift. Yeah, this isn't a normal bag that I would normally go for because I'm a bit flashy, but I love this and it's so chic. Clothes-wise, I can see a bit of a theme. We've got dresses, we've got jackets and outerwear. Yeah. Is that kind of how you describe your a, style? I'm such a creature comfort. I honestly like wear the same outfits like every week on rotation, like Homer Simpson when he opens his closet, that's me. How would you say your style's evolved over the years? I feel like I had so many phases when I was younger and I always really try to express myself and dress kind of really out there, but now I'm red, pink or black really. <laughs> and it's either a big dress, a suit, mostly I'm just wearing a big dress or a suit. Do you find you can wear what you want doing your kind of role or do you need to kind of dress up and look formal? Yeah. No, I think you can. I can wear whatever I want, but I do often wear a suit just because it makes me calm in the morning to just put my suit on and not worry about trying to build a whole outfit, yeah. so. These dresses, you got Molly Goddard. I'm a Molly Goddard stan. I just love Molly so much. But this dress, if, if anyone that knows me has seen me wear this dress like a thousand billion times, this is like my dress when I'm like tired, anxious, bloated, anything. I put this on, this is my safety blanket and I love it so much. I just love dresses like this. You just put it on and you can go, you don't have to worry it's about anything like else. It's literally like a tent, yeah. but it, it looks so, it's still really flattering, it looks really great. This one's Molly Goddard too, right? Yeah, I bought this for Ascot. So I took my dad and Rosie to 
a box at Ascot and got really dressed up and had this huge feather baby pink hat and it was really over the top and this is really fond memories. But this is great, I wear it with like a big baggy t-shirt on top or like a top underneath and just use the bottom as a skirt. Bowman. So, I've never worn this dress because I can't fit into it, but I really wanted to put it on my route so that one day I will wear it. This is like my idea of like power dressing, like one day I will wear this and I'll feel really good and I'll do a really good deal. But for now, it will stay in my closet. So we've got 16 Arlington, this is fab. I love a long sleeve mini dress. I've got lots of tattoos and I like hiding them when I'm dressed up, so I really love this. And Talamamo. This is like one of my favorite dresses ever, which it needs a steam, but I got this for the Brits. I wore this to the Brits this year. It's so comfortable and you can just float around in it. And I mean, Talamamo is just such a really simple formula with the feathers, you just yeah, feel fabulous. I love, I love the shapes that they make. It makes you feel super luxury and super fab. I would buy everything Talamamo if I could. Now there's a, a jumper in here. What is this doing here? I don't think I ever see you wearing I'm just trying knitwear. to get back down to earth and be a bit more humble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that way. <laughs> Cora never wears this. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got jackets, suits. So I wanted to so show... I'm surprise. This want... is high street. So these are from Zara and I wanted to put them on the rail because every time I wear them, people are like, oh my God, is that, is that Mew Mew? Like, is that, like, they're so shocked that it's high street. And I just think this tailoring is really great. The pink one, is so fabulous. I wore that um, to the Royal Academy opening this summer and everyone loved it and everyone thought it was Mimu. Maybe it's because I had a Mimu bag and sunglasses and things and I was tricking everyone, but yeah. <laughs> and you said and this is this, your jacket you wear every day. This is the day. jacket that I wear absolutely every day. It's bobbly. This is it, what she wears when she signs her contract. Literally, this is <laughs> probably, I've made the most money in this jacket and it's, literally falling apart and but I love it so much they still have it on the website and I feel like I need to order like five to like keep me going for like <laughs> as long as possible Barber <laughs> Palace yeah so my little dog Bashi has a matching one and so does Kai and we can wear this on dog walks um, and Bashi <laughs> has got about five or six jackets right Bashi's he's got, got a better wardrobe than anyone he's got like he's a Prada, got Prada jacket <laughs> Montclair jacket Prada collar and lead Burberry. Burberry, he modelled for Browns, like, he really is the fashionable one in the family. <laughs> I actually love wearing that um, over, the, over the top of this yeah. with some trainers. I love that look. At Glastonbury, that was kind of my uniform for the weekend. Another, another high street banger. Every time I wear this, everyone's like, oh my God, where is your jacket from? It's old Topshop. It's about 30 quid, but this is just so good. And I think it looks expensive, yeah, I think. Yeah, such a great piece. Um, but again, something like this, you can just put it on. Don't really have to bother I put that on top of me. this as well. Basically everything on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> and onto shoes, we've got some tabbies. Tabbies. I've got loads of tabbies, to be fair. I don't wear them enough. These are very um, clean. Yeah, they actually haven't been worn. <laughs> Pradas. I wear that... these so much that the rubbers come off the bottom of the heel and you can hear me squeaking from like a mile away, <laughs> but I love them so much. The shop said there's nothing I can do. I need to get some more, but yeah, Prada Kitten Heels are like my go-to. I have so many pairs. They're like the go-to gift for me for Christmas and birthdays, so. Moving on to jewelry. You wear a lot of gold jewelry, mm -hmm. don't you? The jewelry I'm wearing today is my best friend from school from years ago called Ellie Mercer, and she's incredible. And she hand makes these in London. Um, with resin, with diamonds, the necklace is her, the chain's her. Yeah, she's my favourite jewellery designer. This is a ring that I got custom made for my 30th from my mum's engagement ring. Oh. Um, but yeah, for like dressing up, Ellie Mercer jewellery for me. Cora, thank you so much for showing us around your wardrobe. It's been amazing. Thanks for having me.